Okay, so what we're going to talk about is quantizing. And when you record something in GarageBand or any uh, music software, you get this thing called a region. So if I double click on the region, it opens up the edit window. You could also use the scissors. And the edit window, uh, or the matrix edit window as it was called, is now called the piano roll. Uh, and you can resize that roll this way and move it up and down. See the window here at the bottom. Now I want you to notice a couple of things that each window has its own, some of its own controls. So if I come up here to the upper right corner, you'll see that this window has a control, the ruler control. And what that does is it, um, it resets the uh, resolution of the screen as far as how many lines I'm looking at. So the resolution right now is a quarter note or an eighth note. And you'll see that the grid up here in the ruler bar changes. And then I can move things, I can open and close things according to that increment that I set in the ruler bar. If I simply set a whole note, it's only going to allow me to change things according to that increment. So that is the grid that is being set by this ruler. So if I wanted to, sit, to do things along a more fine grid, I change the ruler. And I could move and change things this way. That includes moving the entire region. I could also turn off the grid. Oh, they got a little screwy there. Uh, but the turn off the grid would be Command G, and that would turn off the control pull down, which is snap to grid or turn it off. And if I turn off the grid, things move quite smoothly, and you don't use the grid. For the most part, we're going to keep the grid on. So I'm going to re-choose, reselect Command G, and snap to grid. So if you're having trouble saying, Miss, it's only going a certain amount, you can either turn the grid off or change the uh, the the fine tuning of this particular grid. Uh, you also have the same grid in this matrix edit window. So you'll see there's lots and lots and lots and lots of lines and creates boxes here. Um, and that is because if I zoom in, I get more and more bo lock boxes and lines. It gets very confusing to see all those lines and boxes. That's because the grid is automatically set to automatic. The default setting for this grid is automatic. I'd like you to change the default setting. Um, I usually keep my default setting at 16th notes uh, because I read music and I can understand that this, these, all these little boxes mean 16th notes. This is very cumbersome and very confusing for most people. Remember, I've been doing this for 12 years. I can see these boxes very clearly. If you're just starting out, you probably want to only look at the number of boxes you need. So in this instance, I recorded eighth notes, which means I'm going to change the grid to eighth notes. And presto, change -o, now I can see that I recorded eighth notes. And when I want to select these and line them up exactly, so you can see, you can count. This one box is one eighth note, two eighth notes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight eighth notes in this measure. And it's very difficult in GarageBand because these little lines that delineate where the bigger beats are, are very, very small. And unfortunately, it's very hard to see. Uh, if I do increase the size here, it might get a little easier. As I can see now, just the first measure. This is the first full and complete measure. And then the second measure. So my personal preference is to enlarge the grid. And if you get larger and larger, then it begins to show you the numbers of where the beats are. Look, this is a free software. Uh, it's free software. So we, we don't have much choice.